Good morning, I'm Pete. Good afternoon, I'm Matt. And we're off to Scotland next weekend. Yep, so we set ourselves a certain budget. Wanted to go and get a car, which we just picked up. Just literally picked it which up this second. Loving. Um, always wanted to try one of these out, I don't know yeah. about you. Heard a lot about them, some yeah, people don't like them, some people love them. Yeah, um, but only one way to try it really is to give it a good run out to Scotland. So um, we had a budget of £100 and we bought a Suzuki Ignis. The Ignis, loving it. Okay, so I literally know nothing about these whatsoever. Not a clue, to be honest. We did a bit of prelim research, didn't we? So it's a 1.39, well, 1.4. What was it, 88 horsepower back in 2003? Back in 2003, so what we reckon we get about 60 out of it now? At least 60, I think. It was a spirited drive over here. I, we've just briefly brought it down the road and it still feels quite lively. A little bit loose on the steering, I'm not gonna lie. We've got some obvious damage, so the plate, we're probably gonna have to change that before we head down, because I think that's probably illegal. Got a bit of damage. This is, uh, I mean, that, we didn't know that was there, but that's fine. Can't really complain for 100 quid. I think the wing's been shumped. Wing's been shumped because so. that's as far as the door opens on this side. So just, just let's see what it looks like. You can squeeze in. Every time Matt wants to get in the car, whoever. Oh, that's fine, actually. We're all good. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make that work. Easier than Dukes of Hazard. Yeah, true. This is at a, at a shunt down here by a lot of things because these lines go quite curvy. The MOTs on this weren't too bad, were they? Tires more than anything. Um, so we can get into the boot oh, by yeah. the boot handle. By the boot handle, yeah. <laughs> and this is we even have a brand new spur. Now this we are happy with because we think we're probably going to swap the back right, don't we, in advance. But well, we were going to pick up potentially a spare just in case, but the fact that it's come with the jack and that... Oh, did these back seats drop? <sighs> this is potentially the living room. Do you know what? That's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. too bad. <laughs> that looks comfy. Another little ding. Oh, that looks... Uh, Got a bit of wobble to it. Actually looks new though, doesn't it? It does. It's not like rusted or anything. It's got the pea shooter exhaust, my favourite type. Uh, to be fair, for £100, this is a solid car. There. There's like marks on it, but what are you going to do? No, and, and do you know what? Body work's like the least of our concerns, isn't it? Yeah. We don't have to look at that, as long as it works properly. Yeah. Uh, some things I did notice when driving. I uh, went to look in my mirror, that's gone. <laughs> <laughs> we have scored a very nice pug pillow, free of charge, yeah. and pink scraper. Uh, the chap, as we took it, said, take it to Scotland, so we will do. We've scored a Nickelback CD we, well. Yes, I more importantly, on it. we've scored the, um, the tunes. Look at this graph. In fact, let's have a look at what we've got in this side door. Oh, the vents in the middle have gone. Oh, wow. I mean, so it's going to be boiling hot or freezing cold? Mate, it's already boiling hot. Like, I was, I had to open the windows on the way over here. Where and the dials, have they just gone? I don't know. We can use that for something. Boost gauges. <laughs> full service history. Full service history. Um, details on my last MOT. Legit full history. So we have got... Oh, lots of nickel. We've got a nickel back. Photograph has got to be on one of these. Yeah. We've got more nickel back. Was it Rockstar? What's the famous? Dark Horse, my favourite of the nickel backs. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> more nickel back. Driving songs. Driving That's songs. Sweet. Body and soul. Excellent. Workout mix. Yeah. That'll do for the side of the road. <laughs> Meatloaf. Like a bow of hell. Oh, I'm off. tempted to say bin that now. Driving <laughs> song. And more Nickelback. more Nickelback. Well, we found Nickelback's number one fan. Paracetamol. Excellent. Oh, oh, sit, in. sit in the thing. It's, it's surprisingly comfortable. Are you going to... I didn't think it had a working radio, but it does. One speaker works over this side, so we'll just have to get it. If we want to hear the Nickelback, like, lean to one yeah, side. Yeah, exactly. Or the passenger gets it. Did, all, did, did both lights work, by the way, when I flashed them behind you? I didn't see any flash. <laughs> That's okay. an indicator. Let's try that again. <laughs> I was waiting for the indicator. Oh, wait, okay. I mean, there's light there. Whether, whether it'll hit the road. It's like someone's lit a candle behind the lenses. <laughs> oh, that would be good. They're a bit fogged. They're a bit fogged. We can demilk them. Okay, so that works. I didn't realise the actual the decor of these seats. Lovely. Mmm, wow. It's so loud. Do we have a support? Uh, nope, you are the support. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ, it's like a bamboo cane. <laughs> That's uh, 
Before we allowed to see. It's so hot, we've just driven it for like two minutes. Yeah, it's going to be hot, hot when we get to Scotland. I mean, it's got oil in it. It's got oil. Brown as. Look how much is on the top. We'll give it a nice change when we get back. Happy with it? Yeah, get some water in it. And uh, maybe a quick oil change when we get back. Yeah. Quick oil change, screen wash, and then we have our adventure car for next weekend. We've got a week basically to make yeah. any repairs and cheap mods we want. We I'm gonna be scouring through. Amazon for just cheap Suzuki mods. Yeah. Not quite an, uh, an I8 roaster, but it'll do. <laughs> okay, so we're just on the road now. Pete's behind me, you might be able to see him. It looks good in the rear view mirror to be fair. It's weird because it's a tiny little car, but it's quite a big ride height. So perfect for Scotland for them uh, little off-roading trips. But yeah, let's see if we can make it back first of all. We've got a three hour drive ahead of us, so if we can make that, we can make Scotland. It's a traffic. Sweet. Try not to get killed. <laughs> okay. We are back. We need to come up with a name for this, but it's now oh, sat. Yeah, name, sat in John's spot, John's pride and place. Yeah. Fairly uneventful journey. Mm -hmm. It's nippy. Performed well. Very Performed well, very well. Cool. I had accidentally left the passenger window open on the motorway, so I was being <laughs> deafened the whole way back, and I couldn't even wind it up because I had to lean over. We also forgot to put air in the tyre, which is our next job after we, yeah. after the bit you just saw. And we... I probably wouldn't have been doing 70 if I'd have known that either. So, but we've got a few jobs we need to do actually to make the car legal. Brake lights help. Yeah, yeah, brake lights help. Yeah. <laughs> the the Ignis has arrived. Adventure mobile. The next day. Matt, give us a quick sit rep of, uh, of progress since we got back because we've been out here this morning, haven't we, getting, us, getting it ready for adventure. We've got some rear wipers <laughs> for the front. They're about they're half the cool. size of so the previous going, wipers. So they're going back. So they're going back because we've got letterbox vision currently. Uh, we've got a rear view mirror now. We've got our rear view mirror mounted. You can't see that till so I'm gonna come around. Yeah, it turns out we were like, do we buy an official, like the legit part for 20 quid or do we buy a cheap half of one for a tenner? Turns out if you buy a cheap one for a tenner, it's like magnified. It's like hole and mirrors basically, so. But it's better than no mirror, isn't it? We've now got working brake lights. Um, we were worried that it'll be the fuse. Wait, is it the same consistency on both lights? Yeah, that works, sweet. So we've now got brake lights, so we don't have to have Matt behind us in the 5 Series the whole way just to tell people where we're braking, which was easy, because we were expecting a fuse, just turned out to be the bulbs. Yeah, nice easy swap. The rear wheel that we found, um, unfortunately... The pin finger just snapped off. We put air in it, but it was a no-go. No-go, so that's... I'm just going for weight saving. Weight instead. saving. It's not going to be making the journey with us, unfortunately. A few more little bits to finish off. Nice. A few more little bits to finish off, but an initial tidy up. We're also just going to do a filter whilst we're here and let's swap out the oil as well. Look at the shine 
of this Ignis. I think we've done a good job of that, mate. Yeah, looking so much newer. We're now adventure ready, pretty much. We are 100% legal, thankfully. Yeah, so um, we've done everything we set out, which was brake lights. Brake lights, first and foremost. <laughs> and then front lights we've uh, polished up. Polished so them up. From yellow to nice crystal clear. Yeah. I might even go over them again when I'm bored, but it's made a big difference straight away. Yeah. Front plate's been swapped off to um, a new plate. We've also done an oil change and oil filter. Oil change and oil filter. And again, we're, we're going to say this, but it does sound like it's running smoother already. Mirror, obviously, we've talked about that. The mirror's done. Mirror, which is like a times five. Yeah. <laughs> Everything behind is like right It's on. like a sniper scope. You're looking at the car 10 cars back. Um, <laughs> we've done some weight saving because the spare wheel's now gone. Yeah, that's gone. We've taken off the wheel trims because they were smashed to crap. And they, it just looks better, doesn't it? Yeah. I think now. And a good hoover out inside. Got rid of all the crap inside. Yeah, and then finally, we did a big clean on the outside and a nice little snow foam just to bring it back up to but it's Shining. looking so fresh inside and out, so for like a big 10 hour plus journey, probably in one day, it's yeah. going to be nice. Yeah, it's looking a lot more comfortable now, um, and somewhere I don't mind spending mm -hmm. 48 hours or whatever it's going to be. Yeah. So. Oh, new wipers as well. And new wipers, front yeah, and back. front and back, yeah, <laughs> accidentally, but we've, we've done all of them now. We'll so take it. We'll take it. The Ignis, £100, we've spent about 45 quid on the rest of it, so we're now 145 quid in, and genuinely this is a steal. Yeah. It's clean, it's solid, it's like no rust anywhere. It's no. a decent car. I think it's gonna be reliable. I think it's gonna be, re I think it's gonna be disappointingly reliable. <laughs> <laughs> For a hundred pounds, it's gonna run like sweet as a nut. Probably better than my MR2, but whatever. <laughs> well, yeah. on Friday we set off. Uh, we're gonna be filming every day. Um, it should be a fun trip, regardless of whether the car's reliable or not, so. Yeah, we'll probably put some bits up on our Instagram, so if you follow us on Instagram, you can kind of see how we're getting on each day, yeah. see where we get to, or don't make it to. Or don't make it to. Um, we're thinking we're gonna do some mods to the car on routes, but <laughs> to be confirmed, yeah. all the ideas have been a bit random so far, so. A couple of Holford stops. Uh, so hopefully you've enjoyed the pickup of the Ignis. Uh, let us know what you think. Let us know of any ideas for further adventure proofing. Let us know whether you think it's worth 100 quid. <laughs> yeah, we're probably going to sell it for 100 quid afterwards. If you want it, let us know. Yeah. Um, but thank you very much for watching and the video will hopefully be coming out next week of the trip. Yeah, so we'll probably see you on the next one then. See you on the next one. Thanks, guys. Uh, cheers. cheers.